Hey, and welcome back to Online Tech Tips. Today we're going to look at a topic that some people find fascinating, and I might be one of them. Computer ports. Now, if you've ever wondered what a computer port is and what the heck it's used for, well, didn't you just get lucky clicking on the right video? Because that's exactly what I'm going to explain to you right now. When you hear the term computer port, what comes to mind? USB ports? TCP IP ports? It can get confusing fast. But don't worry, it's easy to break down. There are two classes of ports, physical and virtual. Physical ports like USB ports and virtual ports like TCP IP ports play different roles in the world of computer connectivity. Let's start with the easy stuff, physical ports. Both physical and virtual ports can be found on almost any electronic device, like a phone, a tablet, a PC, or even the parts you put into your car. For this discussion, we're going to focus on computers, but keep in mind that ports can be found on various electronic gadgets. So what exactly is a port? In simple terms, a port is an interface that allows one piece of hardware to be plugged into another so that they can communicate with each other. So it's a port for information. Think of them as jacks or outlets for different devices that don't carry power but carry digital data. They're essential for input-output or I.O. communications. The number of ports a device can have is limited by the physical space that's available in that device. Now we're going to split physical ports into two groups, serial and parallel. Serial ports allow for the transfer of one bit at a time, much like a train moving along a track. On the other hand, parallel ports enable the transfer of multiple bits simultaneously, similar to a multi-lane highway with several cars driving side by side. The choice between serial and parallel depends on the specific communication requirements for that port. So now let's take a closer look at some common physical ports. We have the DE9 or RS-232 port, often seen in older computers and still used in various devices to this day. Then there's the PS2 port, commonly found on older computers and mainly used for keyboards and mice. Of course, we can't forget the USB port, which comes in different types like Type A and Type C and is used widely for data transfer and power delivery. We also have ports like the RJ11 and RJ45 for communications, and you've seen these on your telephone or your Ethernet ports. 3.5mm TRS connectors for audio, which everyone calls a headphone jack, and then VGA ports for video, and ports like DisplayPort and HDMI for both video and audio connections. Wow, that is quite a list. But wait, there's more. It's not even the tip of the iceberg. We also have virtual ports, which are not limited by physical space. These are crucial for network communications, and they're associated with Transfer Control Protocol, TCP, or User Datagram Protocol, UDP. They allow devices to establish connections and transfer data over networks. With a staggering 65,535 virtual ports available, they play a vital role in maintaining network functionality. By assigning different types of network applications and traffic to specific port number ranges, it makes it much easier to control what sort of information flows in and out of your system. That's what a firewall does. It's a piece of hardware or software that either blocks or allows communication on different kinds of ports. And so it prevents people like hackers from getting into your computer through a port, but still allows you to play some Call of Duty when you have to and doesn't block your web browsing. And there you have it. Those are the most basic things you need to know about ports. Just remember, they're a gateway for communication and data transfer between devices, ensuring that you can have seamless connectivity. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more exciting tech content. If you have any questions or want more details, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.